In the previous video, we saw how extremist narratives are constructed and the campaigns that are used to counter them. To see more of this, you can click in the description below. In this video, we will see why and when it's important to do one brave thing and counter extremist narratives. Everyone likes to think about themselves as a nice person who helps others, who wouldn't cause damage to anyone or hurt anyone else. But if everyone is a nice person, why do we not act when we see hate speech online, when we see fellow citizens abused verbally? It's easy to ignore comments such as women can't drive or immigrants steal our jobs by undercutting our wages or foreigners threaten our way of life. We hear stuff like that every day, but not many of us has the courage to act, even if we feel these comments could be the first step towards prejudicial actions. Confronting those who believe in these statements is hard. It's easier to do nothing. But what happens when no one does anything? Group polarisation is where a group of people make decisions that are more extreme than the initial impulses of its members. This could happen in any group where the majority of its members share the same attitudes. For the group polarisation effect, the group members don't even need to be physically in the same space. It works in an online environment it may even be worse there. But group polarisation affects not only attitudes, but actions as well. The filter bubble phenomenon adds another layer to this problem. In the online environment, especially on social media, algorithms filter the content we see to match our preferences and attitudes. This means most people don't come across opinions that differ from their own. With everyone in their own bubble, nobody confronts contrary views or shares new facts to enrich and going conversations. Everyone becomes more certain they're right, and that their attitudes and actions are the only possible solution, and anyone who disagrees is wrong. When views are unchallenged, that is the perfect breeding ground for radical thought. If a narrative is unchallenged, it proposes a false consensus that it's okay to speak and think like that. To avoid this and the further polarisation, you must have the courage to counter these narratives. There are many situations where something bothers the majority, but since we encounter it individually, to solve it would require an extra effort from a single person, which could benefit everyone. This is the missing hero trap. Here's an example. There's an obstacle in the road, blocking the way for everyone. Every car has to brake and swerve to get around it. The obstacle slows everyone down. Those who pass it have no interest in doing anything about it because they will not encounter it again. But all it takes is one person to stop and pull that object out of the road, even if it means a delay. Individually, there's no interest in them doing this. Collectively, it clears an obstacle that many others will benefit from. The missing hero trap is parallel to what happens when no one speaks up against radical narratives. At first, you may feel you're the only one bothered by this, but that's rarely the case for these reasons. Firstly, there is a silent majority who think radical narratives are unacceptable against, say, women, immigrants, or ethnicities. When you act, others will join in, and you won't be alone with your opinions. This way, you can bring a voice to the silent majority. Secondly, by speaking out, you are enforcing the stance of what is acceptable and unacceptable, if it is not based on civic rights and democratic values. Thirdly, these narratives hurt other people. They might seem innocent at first, even when they're couched in a joke. But if not confronted, even the seemingly less radical thoughts could lead to actions with horrific consequences. If you want to be a good person, if you want to be one of those people for whom civil rights and democratic values are important, and if you want to try and save those people from being targets of online hate speech, if you want to be the missing hero here, then you have to gather your courage and do something about it. Stay tuned and be brave.